nearly 90% of all food products fail within the first year after launch, despite all the time, effort, consumer panels, and market research done, most brands still miss the mark. But what if you could know before producing even a single batch whether that product was likely to succeed? The good news is, today I'm going to show you the coolest and most fun tool that will show you just that. This new tool is called Headspace AI, and it basically uses this idea of digital twins, which are just virtual versions of people, so that you know you can try out millions of food ideas, millions of product launches on these virtual versions all at once, which gives you instant feedback. This tool is from the same company, Food Pairing, where I showed you a couple months ago their flavor pairing tool, or it shows you which foods would pair well together. But today, we're looking at Headspace. So I'm going to go to my computer, but step one is go to getheadspace.ai, and then you'll see you do need to make an account. Uh, like I said, it is free. So step one, you need to name your workspace. I'll do something super creative. Then you have to pick your audience. So you can only pick one of these. I'm going to do confectionery because candy slice is literally my favorite type of food science. And market, I'm going to click United States. That's where I am. And here is basically like the sandbox you are going to play in. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go in the upper right hand corner and hit that create project button to get started. Um, project name, I'll just do Abby's Candies. Embarrassing how bad I type. Let's go with Abby's Candies. Uh, product category, so this I'm obviously going to go with confection, but you can see there's actually a lot of different options. Ooh, so many good candy types, caramels, chocolate. Honestly, my favorite is jellies and gummies, so I think I have to go with that for today. But so many good options here. Go with the United States for market, that's where I am. Brand, so I don't think I'm gonna add a brand for now. If you work for like a company or something, of course you could. Now this project is for the general population, but you can see here, you could actually put in exactly what age you would like. Um, your product to be targeted at. So I'll just lower it. I'll do it for people uh, younger from 18 to 35. So adults, but young. And then just, it will generate uh, some concepts for you. So if you can't think of anything, I guess, new, you could do, you know, you see here, innovative candy flavors inspired by adult beverages. That's kind of fun. Uh, the second one, candy concepts that combine unexpected textures and flavors. I love different textures combined. Third, gourmet jelly and gummy candies with sophisticated flavors. I don't know if I'm sophisticated enough as a person for that, so I'm gonna go with uh, option two. So here you can also put in, if you have any other ideas, like if you want it to be a healthier candy, if you want it to be aimed at just ladies, you know. Um, I'm just gonna add focus on, um, candies that are um, interactive, like that a consumer has to like peel because I was really obsessed with those gummies that recently were at Walgreens and you need to peel them apart. And then what you'll see here is if you wanna pick any concept theme, so mine was adult focus, so I'll click that. But you could add any of these sort of details to your product. Like I said, I'm a big fan of texture. I'll click novel textures. I maybe only want to pick one more. Let's do global flavors because that sounds really fun. <laughs> so now you have to give it a couple minutes, but it's going to generate a bunch of concepts for you. So uh, don't get, you know, it doesn't happen like this. Okay. It says on the screen, actually, it could take up to 10 minutes, but it's well worth your time. Oh my goodness. I could cry. This is so beautiful. Look at all these ideas. There's these really cute images. Like this really hits my like food science heart. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have fizzy dragon's breath gummies interactive gummy candy featuring a spicy sweet mango something bubble tea burst jellies 
cocktail hour gummy flight. That's so fun. Ooh, or mochi melt gummies. It looks like there's a bunch of different textures like I want it. Ooh, crackle pop. Okay, let's just click crackle pop, okay? So now we can see all the details for just this one candy concept, okay? So I should have said earlier, if you see these two numbers, they were listed for all the concepts. The first is the purchase intent, so this is about 59% is just like of our intended consumers, what percent would actually buy this product. And the second number by the star is just a novelty score. So 100% is like the most novel, novel idea ever out there. So honestly, I would say 70% is a pretty cool idea, but you can see they give you different ingredients, different mood states. So, you know, a candy that's like crackling and popping. Yeah, I would say that's, that's pretty activating. And you'll see they give you a lot of different details, descriptions, you know, what this product could be like, what it could taste like, the reason that it would be successful, you know, based on this digital twins idea. But what I'm really excited to show you is because I like to know the numbers, I like to see some data, is it can give you some data like the purchase intent, you can ask it uh, different questions. It will break down demographics for you. So if we look at male versus female, this idea does skew uh, slightly male. Looking at the age brackets, honestly, 18 to 35, there's not you know that big of a difference, 57, 58 you know, 59%, but it can break down different segments of the market depending what you're looking at. So for me, I really like to like see these different numbers and compare, you know, what might be more successful before you even have to like make these, you know, the foods in the lab or start to scale them up or anything like that. One other cool thing I want to show you before like I probably spend the rest of my afternoon playing around on here is if you highlight uh, another candy. So let's do this fizzy dragon's breath gummy. If you highlight two or three or more um, ideas, you can then hit compare concepts. And so it makes it really easy just to look at like what's the different purchase intent, novelty. It will let you compare, you know, all these all these concepts at once, you know, looking at these numbers, you know, what genders are likely to buy it, what age group, which I think is really fun as like a scientist. I really enjoy looking at all this data. Well, I'm pretty sure you know how I'll be spending the rest of my day. If you enjoyed this video, next I would check out my video on the flavor pairing tool that is a total game changer.